What's up, people? We are at a tram stop in Saska Kepa, my neighborhood. If you missed the tour of my neighborhood, you can definitely check it out here. We are leaving Saska Kepa today and we are going to the Centrum or Central part of Warsaw. We're going to meet up with Nathan. You know Nathan. Uh, he was the first interviewee in the Black and Poland series. Um, if you didn't check that out, make sure you check that one out as well. Okay, so I'm going to hop on this tram for three zwote. 40 Groschen, and we will be there in no time. We are going to one of my favorite streets in Warsaw, so I can't wait to show you guys some of my favorite places around the city. The tram is coming, and I need to hop on. See you guys in a bit. So we are on Ulica Marzakowska. Here you can find so many stores and we're actually going to pass one of my favorite stores. We're also right across from the, I'm horrible with this, <laughs> Palace of Culture. And on the other side is Zwarte Terasi. And a lot of these same stores are right on the other side in Zwarte Terasi. Um, that might not make sense to some people, but I go to both and see who has the best selection. Um, but yeah, so we're coming up on one of my favorite stores right now. Um, Nathan is coming off the subway, so we're just gonna maybe pop in here for a bit and while we wait on him. Nathan just texted and he's gonna be in front of TK Maxx. Um, unfortunately, I don't have time to really shop because I'm the type of person who has to try on every single little thing. Um, oh, I see Nathan. Yes, say hey. <laughs> so we are going to Kiona. We are. Okay, we are. <laughs> okay, so it's actually through this way. Um, so we are leaving Majakowska Street. Have yeah. you been over here? I've been over here, but I don't know any street. Okay, okay, okay. So ooh, he... Ooh, it's the palace in the background. Okay, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> oh, my head is in the way. That's why. <laughs> so, you know, Nathan was living in Krakow, and then he decided to leave and then come back. To Poland. To yes. Warsaw, yeah. And so now he's living in Warsaw. And so it's kind of like, almost like you're in Poland for the first time again because you're in a new city, yeah? Basically, yeah. Yeah, so... I'm gonna show him some of my favorite places and show you as well, and we'll catch up with him. Um, it's like six o'clock p.m. for anybody that's just curious about like what time it is. Summer is officially over. It's over. And this <laughs> weather is weird. <laughs> it is. It was warm in the morning. Mm -hmm. was Sun was raining. out. It's not cold though. It's yeah, just... it's not too bad. Um, are you gonna split that pole? Okay, I'm superstitious. I we can't. are not allowed to split poles. So, all right, let I'm gonna give you guys views of. Kiona. This man looks like he's straight out of Run DMC. You see his outfit? I, I, I can't stop staring. <laughs> oh, so good. If we can, okay, I was supposed to be showing. All right, so we got the AOV place. Oh, I like this place. They have good drinks. Mm. They do. And there's another like little in the cut place. So we actually have to cross the street, and it continues. There's also a vintage store back there that I've never been to. <laughs> I keep meaning know to go. That Polish barbershop, like this right here, they give you alcohol. Oh! They ask you if you want like some whiskey or vodka. Really? Yeah. Cool. Little <laughs> I did not know that. Have you ever been inside a traditional, like a Polish barbershop? Yeah, or yeah you all... I have okay. with my ex-boyfriend. Okay. I was like, why are they asking you about a drink? What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> like... Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay, okay. So we're right, it's right here. This is it. Oh, oh. No, this is it. All right, so. Thank you, right this way? Yes, we finally found it. <laughs> Be it stay be it street, yes. Are you excited to be out? 
Since you don't leave your neighborhood? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, Taking gosh. the subway. Oh, yes, you took the subway by yourself for the first time. How do you feel? Accomplished. Accomplished. I feel like I'm in the city. <laughs> I can't. So I see you're looking at the bibimbap because you lived in Korea for four years. Yeah. Fluent in Korean. He has started Smarter Korean. I'll put a link below for anybody who wants to learn Korean. He has he is giving lessons, okay? Um, but yeah, so they have Korean, they have Pad Thai, they got Thai, all at the Via Street place. Uh, I'm going to do the crispy, the crispy duck pancake. It's just the you roll it, yeah. You roll it. Yeah, I, yeah, I roll it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you yes. for that clarification. The crispy duck pancake. Let me see this even back. Hey. Does it look like Korean? Um, pretty close. Pretty okay. Close. And my duck. Yes. Ooh. Oh, okay. This one. <laughs> okay. Everything okay? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, so Thank far. You. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. And these are the pancakes. You wrap it up in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why he was like, you. Interesting. <laughs> oh. You wrap it up. Did you date anyone in Korea? <laughs> oh, is this filming? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oops. Did I date anyone? Did you see my video dating in Korea? Don't do it. <gasps> I did. What is that? Oh, I what is it? Is it a ladybug? Because it don't look like a ladybug. What is it? Is it a roach? Oh. Not look pleased eating your food. It's kind of spicy. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, we're going to see you guys. 